Hey guys, Mrs. O'Donnell here. I'm trying um, Screencastify instead of Screencast-O-Matic, so uh, bear with me if I make a couple of mistakes as we go. Um, I got a couple questions about this week's Delta Math, so I thought I would just make a quick video and send it on out to you guys. Um, the first question that I got was on, let's see here, one, two, three, four, compare linear features, equations versus graph or table. So let's check that one out. So if we're looking at this, right, it says find the x-intercept of each line defined below and compare their values. So we have to know about our intercepts, right? So um, we have to remember what is an x-intercept? Well, an x-intercept is where the line is crossing or intersecting with the x-axis. Okay, that would be your x-intercept. Okay, so if we check out this equation of a line, it looks like it's written in slope-intercept form, but remember what it's giving to us is the y-intercept, not the x. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to plug in to try and find our x-intercept. The cool thing is, is that we know on our x-axis for our x-intercept, the y value is always going to be zero, right? So we can plug zero in, zero equals for y, negative two thirds x minus four, right? And we can plug and chug through that to find what x equals when y equals zero, right? So to solve this, I'm gonna use my reverse order of operations to help me remember what order I want to solve in. Okay, so first thing I'm going to get rid of or undo is that added or subtracted term. So I'm from the variable I'm trying to solve for, right? So I'm going to get rid of minus four by doing the opposite, which is plus four. If I do it to one side of my equal sign, I'm going to also do it to the other. So I've got four equals negative two thirds X. Let's see if that comes up. My pen, I'm writing faster than my pen is registering. <laughs> All right, then the next thing I wanna get rid of is that multiplied or divided term from my variable. So I see I'm multiplying by a negative two thirds. I know to undo that in one step, I can just multiply by the reciprocal. So negative three halves. If I do it to one side of my equal sign, I have to do it to both sides of my equal sign. Multiply by negative three halves. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to divide first because that's going to keep my numbers a little smaller, right? Or you could just multiply. Negative three times four is negative 12. Divided by two gives me negative six, right? Or you could have done four divided by two, which is two, times negative three, which is also negative six, right? Equals my x. Right, so the x-intercept of line A, grab my pointer, the x-intercept of line A is negative six. And next we have to find the x-intercept of line B. Well, that's nice because it's showing us both our x-intercept and our y-intercept here in our table, right? We know, oops, sorry. We know, we know our x-intercept is when our output is zero, right? So we see our x-intercept right there. So the x-intercept at line B is going to be one. Okay, therefore the x-intercept of line A is going to be less than, right? Because six is less than one, okay? And if you're not sure about that, you know, write out your um, inequalities. Remember the alligator mouth always eats the bigger number. Okay, go ahead and submit. Oh, yes. And it liked it. It looks like here, if you check it out, they're giving you different types of equations. So get that graphic organizer out, right? Here it's slope intercept form. Okay, so you figure out your x-intercept by again, plugging in zero for y. 